Hello guys, welcome back. Have you ever wondered what happens to your blood when your body temperature increases? Then just keep watching. So basically here, I'm just separating an egg yolk from the egg white and I'm going to give you a little background about protein so we can fully understand what is happening with the egg white as heat is applied. Proteins are just a string of amino acids and they can have four levels of structures. Primary, which is just a chain of amino acids and we will just think of amino acids as building blocks for right now. Then you have your secondary. Uh, you can, this is where you start getting folds. You have tertiary, which is a 3D shape, and quaternary, uh, which you have more than one tertiary structure together. So basically, I like to think of it as tying your shoe. You start with a primary structure. As you make the bow on your shoe, you end with the quaternary structure. Denaturation is when the, when the protein loses the, that tertiary 3D structure. One of the main causes of denaturation is heat. When temperature increases, its kinetic energy increases. And basically, kinetic energy is just the rate at which the atoms move. When the temperature gets high enough, this extra energy can be enough to overcome the hydrophobic interactions that hold a protein together, causing the protein to unfold. This is what happens when the egg, when egg whites are cooked. In the uncooked egg whites, albumin is folded, which makes it transparent. So the reason why I used an egg is because it has albumin and we have albumin in our blood. Albumin keeps the fluid from within the blood vessels. Albumin also acts as a carrier for two materials necessary for the control of blood clotting. That's why just sitting down your blood will not clot up because albumin also uh, carries anti-clotting factors. Cooking them causes the albumin molecule to denature and group together, forming a solid, rubbery white mass that will never revert to its transparent form. So basically, we'll start out at about 101 degrees. What happens is, is your blood, it moves to the surface, so it'll start losing um, its water due to evaporation. This means that your blood is thickening, clotting, and your chances of suffering a stroke or a heart attack has just spiked. Now you get to 104, and we all know if you've had kids, you've been a kid yourself, you know the once you reach 104 they're like the doctor will tell you if you can't get the temperature down get them to the hospital immediately well once you're at 104 you're you're basically starting to die and you're getting into that heat stroke zone your body is at the point where it has lost all its thermal regulatory functions and it's basically have exhausted all efforts at 107 degrees you are basically boiling. Temperature is so high that your cells are cooking, just like the egg whites, and all those anti-clotting factors are denatured and they're useless. Um, your muscles will start locking up and that thick blood, like the rubbery egg white, it stops your blood from reaching your brain and basically your brain will just shut down. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, a like, comment. If you have any questions, put that in the comment section below. As always, until next time, peace, love, and happy thoughts. Bye.